Hey guys, welcome back to The Big Build. Over 16 build episodes, we're making this. So let's carry on. I found some sort of cover, top to put on, and some sort of building. I say some sort of building, they're not really for this, but they're, they're good enough. And I found those wooden passages for the uh, uh, for narrow gauge. There is a case of just sort of finding the correct paint. There's one thing I hate about all these paints, it's a bit like the heights with everything, really. The heights don't match. So when you put one paint down, another paint down, the heights, you can see the track. You see more of it emerging and disappearing. And that's quite annoying when you're painting something, especially around the track area. Because you end up with the tracks just floating. As you can see, I still haven't actually messed around with the height of these tracks. Well, I will do it. I think it's after I painted, I sort of I came to the conclusion looking at them. It looks doesn't look good. Right, as you can see, I've also added an extra piece of track going toward like, the other way there. Done that off camera. I figured that if you're the depot, you want to go up towards the sawmill as well. Yeah, paint it all grey. Well, I could have done it bigger though. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Past self actually uh, listened to me. I think. It defines the area once you paint it a little bit of this colour. Now, it will need a lot more painting, refining and stuff, but uh, at least it's defined the area now. Now it's time to start placing some assets, some of the buildings. Now this is quite important what you pick here because you you want a few big things to obscure some of the stuff behind, well, you know, from the main line I'm talking about here. But on the other hand, you want some smaller buildings at the front so you can see behind as well. So it's a, it's a balancing act of what sort of size of buildings to put where. station good what it would just do it allows you know a session to be made using these you could have an entire session in in, the, in this factory area here just moving stuff around and I think that's one of the things I wanted to do one of the the things with this build so far it's been you're going through the towns, there's a few things happening, but you have not been able to play it. And I think on this area here, you you would actually be able to spend some time and actually play in this area. Now, the one thing that building this town has done though, is it's made me think that we probably need some more freight stations dotted around the actual whole map. I don't think it stays here. It's too small. In fact, I know it doesn't. We put another, a larger one from the other side. Yeah, that makes more sense. You can see a part of the building. I think, as I said previously, it would be nice if there were some different variations of these, but these are probably, for me, the nicest ones of this type of building, these types of warehouses. But you can't use them everywhere. So what we're doing, as you can probably see, we're, we're picking some buildings, we're putting them there, and then we're gonna put some walls around. And then we're finally, we'll put some assets such as the forklift people and uh, building, and not buildings, walls and 
cars and all kinds of things inside. There are a few trees and things, but not that many because there wouldn't have been probably around this sort of area. It's industrial, it's not meant to look nice. It's meant to be functional. more of these round dotted around here. It's amazing by simply putting two together you get a completely different looking building. Right yeah so let's extend that road down and then we will eventually extend it upwards as well. A few houses here along the canal. Not these ones because those sheds at the back, well you can't see into the houses and I don't think it would have been built like that there. There's no way through to the canal which is uh, I'm sure there would have been. Let's go one at this wall. There's the entrance for our, uh, our depot there. The next track will be put into there actually. Um, I think it's, is it for water or coal? One of the two I put to the side. fine I think. Lower this building down. It doesn't need to be it have that platform on it. No idea why I put a station here but why not it's it, it, <laughs> I, I do like to fill the gap areas in these sort of things in these builds. I said before that yeah a lot of the stations, for instance, on this build are overgrown. And there's a reason for that. That, yes, they may not have been in this sort of era. They would have been looked after nicely. You know, in a higher standard that I present them in. But if you do that in this game, it just looks like you haven't bothered to put any scenery in. So it's um, in cre creative interpretation, I think. I'm thinking this is the main office building for the whole area. Or maybe it's some sort of administration building or something like that. One thing I didn't do, I should have done, is put a massive house on the back, on the on the background somewhere. You know, the the owner of the whole area, the original owner. I think most of these uh, mill towns would have had one. Up on the hill somewhere, I might do that actually after the build finishes. I I don't think it's going to make it into the end uh, episode, but we probably will in the future. We'll see it there somewhere. One of the hills will have a massive house. And there are some quite nice ones actually on the uh, download station. but I'm still wondering how we're going to fit all this track together. So I, I don't lower it down right to the end, actually. I, I don't think I do. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I wanted to put it the other way. It doesn't want to go the other way. It refuses. Yeah, I'm trying to pick that up so we can add another one in. Oh dear. I don't like the concrete on them as well. It's a, it's a pity there's just you can't get them without a sort of uh, a top. But these are the closest ones to which I can find would be usable for what we what we want to do with them here. Yeah, just be creative. Put the road up as close to them as possible. Just imagine these little wagons just dotted about everywhere. These little trucks and things in them. Hey, you can see the, the difference in land height there. If you remember, the main line track is at around zero height, so all this has been lowered down. And as you go back further out, it gets back up to zero again, so... Yeah, you can see the height difference just there. Does that connect up? Right? Yeah, it does. It's fine. We'll do another one here. I don't think any further than that. I think that's pretty much it. You can't have junctions on these roads, which is, you know, it's a frustrating, but hopefully no traffic makes it here. I think the road is traffic enabled, but I haven't actually seen any across this side. There's quite a bit of traffic goes the other side, though. I think traffic always takes a set route, depending on the junction. So I think it possibly doesn't come down this way, because it, it can't create traffic, but it, if traffic's there, these roads will actually take the traffic. And that's the end of another one. Thank you very much for watching again. Um, if you enjoyed it, please press the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe and press that ding-dong bell button. You know what it does. Cheers, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.